How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome back to Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Before we start, I want you guys to tell me how your guys' day is going. And I want you guys to know you're freaking fabulous and amazing. And I hope you don't get zapped to the past because that would suck. But it would be kind of cool. But it would kind of suck. Uh, you could probably warn everybody 2020 is kind of a lame crap year. But, you know, regardless, we're going to move on to whatever's happening in here. Last time, we had our good first look at a good, fun, 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 funny, fun, 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 fun character known as a weeping angel. It's in our phone. And I don't know what the heck these two, you, you, you know, blobby thing. I have a theory. It's Natasha and Lawrence. That's just my theory. But if you guys have not seen the first two episodes, go watch those. Basically, we're investigating the disappearance of a man named Lawrence. Uh, and if you guys don't know Doctor Who, go watch Doctor Who. Freaking the, the, the last couple of seasons have been pretty decent. Uh, I haven't seen any of Jody's, uh, the most recent Doctor Who, but I've watched Peter Capaldi's. It was okay. And uh, I, I really enjoyed David and Matt. Like, if, if, if you guys don't know, Chris Eccleson was great, too. He was fabulous. Anywho, right now what we need to do is we need to get on finding corrupted phone parts and keeping additional information out on uh, any stuff with uh, the TARDIS, um, which will be interesting. Um, I don't know how we would go back and see. Thank God. I don't want to look at any of those pictures. I, I really, really don't. And I don't know if any other pictures have any statues in them because if I see anything that resemble... Clicking through these pictures just gives me the willies. And I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it. Look at all these chickens. Alright. Nothing yet, and that's good. Oh, God. I'm getting the willies just thinking about it. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, this seems to just be... Wait, what? There's a five-second clip? Huh? Did I download a five second clip? Huh. Interesting. So Osgood wants me to I need to hunt down those remaining corrupted items. Where would I even find these? Where would I find these? Where would they be? I wonder what would happen if we called what's his face back? Hey, Mr. Flint. I'm calling you back. We had a, we had a line busy. What an asshole. Uh, and you, um, into the unknown. Delve into reality is yet discovered and untold. So these are bookmarked. Camden, can I click on these? Can I go anywhere? No. Alabama's blue box. Alabama. Some of the interesting puzzles in history are some of the smallest. One of these mysteries of the Montgomery Blue Box enigma that has stumped the local historians for decades. This looks interesting. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> okay, not interested. Uh, I'm curious on this, actually. Uh, we'll, we'll look at this and then the other piece, because I'm sure this is where we needed to look for. Uh, blue Box, but all the... How could you know that's a blue box? Great! Okay, um, some of the most interesting puzzles in history are some of the smallest. One of these in, uh, one of these is the mystery of the Montgomery Blue Box, an enigma that has stumped local historians for decades. In December of 1955, 1955, an incongruous blue painted telephone box has appeared in an alleyway in Montgomery, Alabama. Nobody knew where it came from, but reports suggest it was not there the previous day. All right, let's go ahead and scan this bad boy. Perfect. Uh, Ritten's records show that inquiries from the local populace were met with confusion by county authorities. They had no record of its installation. Officials were sent to inspect the box, but by the time they arrived, it had suddenly vanished, as it appeared. The only visual evidence we have of existence is the only clue to its origins is a signal photograph of the box taken by a local reporter. Historians have identified it as a British police box. These were kiosks or call boxes once used in the UK. They enabled police and members of the public to contact nearby police stations in an event of an emergency. But the strangest thing, experts generally agree that the box in question probably originated from the Great Britain in the early 1960s. 
This raises more questions than it solves. What was a British phone box doing in Alabama? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. How did a phone box from the 1960s appear in the photograph from 1955? Some investigators have claimed that the blue box was not a police box and instead some kind of prop constructed by hoaxers. Proponents of this country theory counter theory have pointed out that the windows are wrong. Update. Since originally running the story, we have been contacted by several readers who have heard similar legends of the blue box. We have had reports of wooden phone kiosks being spotted in Punjab in 1947, Tibet in 1935, and the most bizarre allegations of two blue boxes spotted in Irps in 1914. We'll be bringing you more updates soon. Two blue boxes. And I, 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 I'm, I'm questionable. I, I'm probably saying this wrong. In Belgium? Huh? Is this a new, is this a, is this a, this has got to be a new episode thing, because I don't remember this to be completely fair. Um, was it? This couldn't, the second Doctor. Ah, old Doctor Who, classic Doctor Who. All right. Uh, did I scan it? I, I, I don't remember if I scanned it or not. Uh, we do need to scan this, though. Zoom, 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 zoom. Perfect. Clue. Got it. Uh, we got more stuff of the TARDIS, TARDIS that we can get. The drumlin's disappearances. All right, let's go ahead and click it. <sighs> These aren't clickbaity enough, I'm just saying. Wait, did I read this? Discreet, well, I think I read this already. I've read this already. Freaking stuff sparrow nightingale this is new uh come on website fully load please sparrow and nightingale antiquated books and rare dvd rare dvd singing stories past future about us how we're giving back to the community found in 2008 sparrow nightingale is an independent shop based on community and care maintained by the nightingales the storehouse is an excellent collection of diverse stories both in physical and digital format our titles are skillfully curated with the intent to inspire, celebrate, and remember. We donate 20% of our monthly profits to local charities. That's freaking awesome. We promote local talent with regularly scheduled author events and film screenings. Admission is always free. There's always room for you. Join the Sparrow Book Club or the Nightingale Movie Club. That's really cool, actually. I would love to do this. Meet new friends, experience an adventure, and have a discussion at our monthly meetings. We select titles from a variety of genres, so there's, nothing, so there's something for everyone. Uh, drop by the Nook, find comfort, and warm your heart with a delectable, a delectable pastry and a hot coffee at our in-house cafe. Right around the corner, S&N, 10 to 8, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 6, public holidays closed. Amazing. I would love to go there. That sounds like a fantastic place. What? Uh, I can see them. I can, I, I can see them. They're in the phone. They're no longer a dark blob. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is not good. I noticed. All right, another side of the doctor. Another sighting of the doctor. I don't have a record of it in Alabama, though. Um... But it looks like this occurred around the time of the civil rights movement, specifically when Rosa Parks was resisting bus segregation. It was an iconic moment for the cause, you know, of course. And the doctor does like to be present at significant historical events. Uh, oh my god, my freaking eye, I apologize. I got something in my eye. Uh, do you know the doctor? Uh, briefly, I think they said, so this is a redundant question. No is a strong word, but yes, I've met them. A few times, actually. Um, you had to travel through space and time? Uh, no, sadly. Um, doctor offered me a chance once, but I couldn't take it. I was needed at home. There was that other time, too, but then I died. What? I need to watch the rest of Doctor Who, because this doesn't make sense to me. That's a whole other story. Uh, I'm not going to question that. So what's he like? What's she like? What are they like? The doctor's a lot of things. Kind, mad, 
brilliant and sad somehow. Sounds fantastic. You wouldn't know that, Doctor. He's before your time. They tend to show up at the exact moment when people are in danger and need help. So it's not exactly safe, but it's quite a ride. What kind of alien is the Doctor? Time Lord. From Gallifrey. Of course. Of course. Gallifrey sounds made up. You made that up. <laughs> what does the Doctor look like? This is a fun question. Oh, the doctor looks pretty much like you and me, except for the two hearts thing. That's a bit different. Anyway, good news that we found more evidence of the doctor. I'll be sure to look through it later. Keep investigating, please. Uh, you're doing a fabulous job. You're doing a fantastic job. We need to know more information. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. This is the final piece. Good job. So they definitely all link up together. Uh, I already know that your friend Aisha has been sent back in time. All right, I'm already two steps ahead of you, Osgood. I'm trying to let you know, and there's a funky thing in the background of my phone, but you don't want to know about that, because whatever. I sense a butt. We're getting random calls, by the way. I can't get my algorithms to piece them together. 1747. Oh, oh bother. Uh, what's wrong? Let me guess. Looks like nothing's happening. You might have to assemble them on Lawrence's phone. Sounds tricky. Can't you do that? I'm afraid not. Okay, tell me how to do it. I don't think it's going to do anything unless it's pieced together on Lawrence's phone. That means you're up. Oh, no. I don't want to go to the... Oh, the album appears to be the source of the data shifts. Piece together the fragments there, and I'll monitor the situation. Okay. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. Great. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Just tap and hold the pieces and move them around. The pieces fit, they'll snap together. Just keep doing that till you complete the image. Good luck. Oh, fuck. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Oh, this is so stupid. This is dumb. This is dumb. I'm just saying, this is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing I've done. Um, just saying, this is... Did I mention this is dumb? I don't think that goes there. That definitely goes there. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, I like that. Look at that, you can kind of see the background there. Is there any angel waiting for me? I'm gonna creep up on my butt. Beautiful. Nope, didn't mean to grab that piece. Crap. Oh, that looks like it pieced together. Really? Okay. This is a very big, chunky piece here. Just gonna say that right now. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Good. It's an angel. This is the most... Fuck! Fuck! God fucking damn it! God damn it! God fucking damn it! Ugh. It's gonna fucking move! Oh! Oh no! Yes! Oh no! Is it? Is it, oh no! 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 Yep! No! What on earth is that? It was caused. It caught. It's what caused the anomalies. Did you see? That was the data. We just. We just put together. Is distinct intent. Oh, good! 
good! We fixed the virus! We put the angel together! This is such a stupid thing! Why did you make me do it? Oh god. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Maybe it's friendly! <laughs> Maybe it's friendly! Well, 10 out of 10 for positivity. Minus several million for accuracy. It's a weeping angel. Great. This is not good. Really not good. Uh, great. Angel doesn't sound so- what exactly is that? Uh, nasty protru uh, predatory creatures. Uh, they turn to stone when you look at them. Units encountered them before through this uh, digital form. It's unprecedented. What's it doing? It's moving through the phone, corrupting data. Oh no, it's trying to escape. Where to? I think it's trying to get into the phone networks. Uh, if it gets out, the damage inflicts could be immeasurable. Well, luckily I'm not on my phone. I'm hooked up to Comcast, so you can't fuck it up more than it already is, Weeping Angel. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> get back, Comcast. I'll smash the phone. Uh, what if we just turn the phone off? Is that too much of a big brain idea? Uh, I'll smash the phone! No! <laughs> we can't find Lawrence without it. Are you sure? We'll have to stop this thing within the phone itself. Uh, I've got an idea. Okay. The creature came from the corrupted de frag data fragments put together. If we delete those fragments, it might delete the entity. You are so silly for thinking that. Uh... Is uh, it's definitely worth a shot. It's only my life in your hands. Okay, I've enabled the delete function on my bug. Okay. If there's a corrupted fragment on the screen, the scan button will turn into a delete button. When you see it, use it to delete the fragments. You'll know what that means when you see it. Do it now. Run out of time. Okay. Freaking hell! Stop texting me then. Uh. That's definitely the scary bit right there. Uh. Why are you here? Why are you here? Uh, help! Okay, they haven't moved. This makes me happy. Lovely, actually, inside. It looks great. Dude, I get such bad goosebumps seeing them. Is that bad? Anybody else get that? This, this horrible feeling of just like, I shouldn't be looking at this. But here I am, looking at it. Where the heck am I supposed to find this? Like, look at all that, like... You are no help! What am I supposed to do? It's got nothing to do with any of these photos. Are you part of the problem? You're the problem. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Whoops. I really don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Uh... If there's a corrupted fragment on the screen, the scan button will turn into a delete button. But it's not doing anything! You'll know what I mean when you see it. Well, why haven't I friggin' seen it? I would imagine it's there. Why would it be anywhere else? Ah! Ah, kill it! Kill it with fire! Ah! What is this? No! Ah! 
You'll know what I mean when you see it. Well, why haven't I freaking seen it? <laughs> That's silly. Die, angel fuck! Stop. That's a great photo. Love the teeth. Get fucked! Hey! Are you okay? Yeah, I was confused as fuck as where to go. The delete button is glitching! It's not the button! The entity is manipulating the phone. It's gonna try everything it can to stop you from deleting those fragments, but you must destroy it. Okay. Uh, we found its weakness, and it knows it. Uh, it'll do everything in its considerable power to stop us, so we might have an advantage. Uh, weeping angels can only move when they're not being watched. Oh, uh, looking at its behavior, the rule still seems to apply, so as long as you keep it in sight, it can't attack. I'm not looking at it now! Sure, what could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Seriously, please be careful. I'll do my best to keep you safe. Okay. Remember, no matter what, uh, how hard it is to try to stop, you must get to that delete button. Okay. Well, this is going great so far. Oh my god, my freaking... <laughs> god damn you, computer! That's something that actually was gonna get me. Oh. This is the wrong one. It was up here. Is that not it? Wait, what? Hello? It corrupted all these photos. Okay. Well, they look fine now. I mean, they, they always looked fine, I guess. To be completely fair. Okay. There's no glitchy photos there. Do I just have to go around to all the glitchy parts of the phone that we found? Oh. Like a moth to flame. What? What is... No! I don't want to click on the cubes! The cubes are bad! Into the unknown. Stop. Stop. Do you have an infl- Are they taking up too much room? You need a way. Click the cube. I am a liar, and what I say is false. Don't believe my words. Don't believe. So believe my words at the beginning. Believe his words at the end, because that was actually true. It's actually false. So am I really a liar? I am a liar. Is he lying about lying? Let's assume that. No, you're not a liar. Test of faith, feeling lost, surrender to the embrace. Your time will be spent to nourish the greater good. I have my own path. Aha! Get absolutely fucked, you piece of shit! I'm not interested! Feeling down? Dude, this is freaking. This is my life! I'm always feeling down! Your phone might be at risk! Oh, just fuck off! Proceed! Stupid. Where art thou? I wanna see. Are you still in the windows? This is probably a horrible idea. Yep, you still are. Okay, uh, I don't remember where the other things were. Emails? What if I was actually timed? It's getting close. Nope. Wait. It could have been a phone chat messages? I don't 
think I had anything with Mr. Flint. I don't remember. Oh. In the email in the chat. So there was one in the chat, but who was it about? Was it Mo? It was Mo. Hi. Oh my frickin' god, you're an asshole. I hope you know you're a huge ass. The future is cold and empty. Yes, you will see no more. This is a little messed up. I have to click on all these, bro. Future is cold and empty. That was just 2020, dude. Get absolutely fucked, piece of crap. All right, uh, emails. I don't remember where the email was, which one it was in. Uh, help. I don't remember. Was it an illusions of security? I don't remember. I don't remember where I found it. Why don't I remember? Eloise, good job. Sacred Circle? Did I... Was it in this? That was from the war? I don't think I had anything to do with this. God, it was in one of these emails. Which... Why can't I remember which one it was in? Ah! There you are! I don't remember which one it was in! Dude, I swear. Oh, you're such a butt. Ha ha! Fuck off. Fine. Find what? I just beat you in your own. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! I can't, I can't click off. I, I, I don't trust it. This is so dangerous. Uh, 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 that was too close. It's still there. Agreed. Although, that is a very cool image. Sorry about that. Uh, I'd, if I'd known connecting the fragments from the least to creature, I'd come up with a different plan. Looks like we're safe for now. You're safe! I'm fucked still! I have a feeling there's more danger ahead. Much more interesting, the data dist uh, distortions on the phone have been eradicated. The entity must have been causing them. The creature managed to corrupt and destroy more data on the phone, too. Great! Love! <laughs> well, at least we prevented, trans from, prevented its transformation from digital demon to real-world threat. Well, hopefully it didn't lose anything important. Uh, ditto. But in better news... Aisha has just arrived at Western Drum Drumlands. She's setting up surveillance cameras too to monitor the place. I've detected some new files on Lawrence's phone. How? How did she reach it so fast? Alright. Well. I'm, uh, yeah, let's just, I don't know if I want to upload this. This is a terrible idea. This is horrible. I assume this is from Lawrence's exploration of Western Drumlands. Looks like the documented photo. This is a horrible idea. Is that an angel statue? Anything that takes the appearance of an angel is an angel. Am I the only one that knows this? God, they're fucked! Uh... The same creature I fought off earlier? I'm not sure. It's a possibility I wouldn't rule it out. I just, I just totally screwed them. I must warn- Yeah, you better. Have I look- uh, Have a look at the new batch of recovery data, will you? We may find more answers. That is still so terrifying. Alright. We'll pick this up next time. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I need to go take a nice long bath, even though I'm probably just gonna launch up and record more of this. I'm recording this in one big batch because I just can't stop playing. It's really, really fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I hope to see you guys' faces all next time. Hopefully you guys are all safe and secure and probably didn't throw your phone across the room. I love your faces. Stay awesome and amazing. You're fabulous and fantastic. See you guys all next time. See you guys then.